Well, the irony strikes, and uh, unfortunately, I have health problems. You know, I talk about the most dangerous person on the platform. And uh, maybe just to me personally, maybe it overshadows everything. But the way that I unpack the whole thing is I go deeper and deeper until I find just something that just makes absolutely no sense. But is attractive enough so you interact with with it. Like Markiplier is not something that, that attracts me. It's like, well, it's it's gross, it's disgusting. Why would this person do that? I would just want to ask questions. But like, there's a person that I'm suspicious about that I can't understand what's going on. I can't understand the entire Minecraft community as a whole, and no one talks about anything. You know, at some point, silence is deafening. And unfriendliness is crippling. The unfriendliness of people, the thing that I feel of like, if I can't talk to people, to a random person and get advice, and it's just like, it's if it's not a normal occurrence, if I'm too shy to like approach a person and ask questions, uh, then it's, it's game over, basically. But the question, I cannot take the blame for being too shy. I just can't. It's not it's not my myself to blame too lazy, you know. It's not my blame to be taken too shy, bro. I was in a hospital, you know, I I was complaining, well I'm kinda too shy. I was I was trying to take the blame, but I'm like I'm kinda confused and it's like well you have to do it, you know. And sort of the vibe. I don't. I didn't even receive advice of like what I'm supposed to do. But uh, it's even though it's supposed to be the place, a, a perfect place. Uh, lock me up and teach me things, basically. No, lock me up and pump me medication, because all hope is lost, basically. A new vibe, a next level vibe, a much deeper vibe of like all hope is lost, actually. You know, but all hope is lost because of a fucking simple thing. We're not friendly with each other anymore. That's it. Like, there's... When you talk to a person, you just ask simple questions of, like, what do I do? But we have the ability to be shy. We're... We have shy allowna, allowance, basically. We can talk to anyone in the world, basically, online. We have shyness allowance because maybe in our local space, there's nobody that wants to talk to us. But maybe if we scale up a little bit, then all of a sudden we find someone, you know, who appreciates our work or something about our existence whatsoever. And my, my, my mind just starts breaking down of like no one in my local space wants to talk to me anymore. That's cool. That's cool. It's internet. It's supposed to be the safe space. It's supposed to be a place where you can actually show your intentions fully. If you cannot talk to me over the internet, I can't talk to you in real life at all. It's not gonna happen, bro. We're gonna talk like real people. We're gonna appreciate our, ourselves as real people, but we're not gonna appreciate our intentions anymore. And it's like, well, that's fucking harmful, and you will try to fucking escape the situation as much as possible because you don't see anything valuable in it. Which is just mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling that people just see everything as a problem for themselves. But when they want solutions, they just get desperate and they don't actually find them and they give up again. And then uh, they get depressed and get mental problems and they want suicide. Oh, so badly. But it's like... Well, I've been there. I've done that. Unfortunately, I had survived the, the crippling depression of, like, nobody fucking cares. Nobody wants to solve problems. They just want to pile problems onto you as if it's, like, a trendy thing to do. Which is so painful. And it can kill people. And it's like I'm just barely surviving with that sort of a mentality of, like, well, I don't know where to start. There's no starting points. And I sort of, like, have to fight for, like, YouTube Rewind to be a thing. Just to, you know, open up. Just, just cut, cut, you, cut into YouTube and just open up and let it bleed. So it fucking, you know, bleeds out something. 
for me to look at, for me to interact with, for myself, for my own pleasure. Just, just cut into the fucking YouTube, give me resources, basically, by force. Because, like, at this point, we're not friendly anymore. What the fuck is the point? You know, it's, it's time to start bleeding if we're not friendly. It's just so fucking stupid, basically. And there's some fucking dude, obviously, it was like, well, uh, terrifying stuff. You're the ticking tie bomb, actually. I'm supposed to take the blame for bad things happening in my life? I mean, the people who are supposed to take the blame for bad things happening in my life are people who have good things happening in their life. They have to take the blame. They have to answer the fucking question. Why, what's the difference? Basically. What, what is the difference between me and you, bro? Because I don't think there is a fucking difference, unfortunately. Besides, well, I don't have a starting point, and you already shot into fucking space with a rocket ship and found 10,000 scams that just worked out very fucking well. Scam after scam, bro. You just met, went in a domino effect, and it's just like it, it went out of control. But there's no difference, though. We fly, we s switch places, and all of a sudden, I'm the cool kid, and you're not. There wouldn't be a fucking difference. You would be stuck with my problems. You wouldn't be able to fucking move an inch. You know, we just freeze instantly. And I'll just fucking chill on the beach, you know? Sipping on fucking lemon drink or whatever. Or lemonade, bro. There's no responsibilities anymore. And, uh, yeah, you would imagine, like, oh, celebrities have a lot of responsibilities. They have to keep themselves uh, clean and uh, attractive and all that shit. And it's like, no, no, uh They can do that for a certain amount of time, and then they just concede. And they just run, disappear, you know, like, fuck that. This is just flop. You don't have to. You get your first million, you flop, disappear. And uh, you, I, you go back to normal. But the normal is pretty fucking stupid. You know. So I'm, I'm, I'm just running in circles. Trying to find where, where that normal is. Because at some point I will have to conjure things out of nothingness. You know. I will stop working with reality itself. And just destroy it. You know. Why the fuck we have reality anymore? Why don't I just get superpowers and destroy it and eat reality? Bomb, bro? You haven't seen a dark hole up close, my friends. Sometimes it eats your soul and you disappear into nothingness. You know, because fuck it. You know, reality doesn't work anymore. That's probably what God would do. It just destroy everything that doesn't work. Because we're living such miserable lives collectively, right? Humanity is always on the brink of the edge of just non-existence. When we just spread too much bullshit. When we think we have too much freedom on our hands. And again, I cannot be sweet. And I'm trying to be positive. It's just sometimes things break under pressure. You know, I wouldn't naturally create something like that. But I have no job. Otherwise, you know, that's the first thing that you should start with. Unfortunately. And I guess we have to talk about it. You know, the starting point, the everything point. It's like people are trying to compete against me. And I'm like, I'm frustrated, right? But people around me just want to be more frustrated. It's like... <laughs> but silently. In a deadly way. In a stupid-ass fucking way. That doesn't intimidate me at all. You know? So they're even more frustrated. But you can't outcompete me with... Just ne in the negative space. You just die from it. And maybe that's why the previous video was deadly. It's not watchable for most people. You shouldn't fucking do that. You shouldn't go into the darkness and try to understand the most ridiculous things in life and how people just don't even un understand them at all to be able to explain to me, you know. I have to do it. I have the leadership and authority 
to do that? How the fuck did we get to this point? But this just, it just shows how much pain and suffering I have to endure of not going, being able to do anything else but to, you know, develop skills and power and just break the dam, you know, destroy the fucking stupidity of people, break their brains, you know. Maybe I'll need a zombie army, <laughs> you know, to just prove my point that a, a black hole is about to be opened. You know, maybe, I, I don't know what I'll fucking get for for Christmas as a present. I'm not, I'm not sure what I want at this point. It's just the frustration is overflowing because people are competing against me and they think it's a very good competition, you know, to put pressure on me continuously. Where is it coming from? I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Everything is growing. Every problem that is unsolved, it continues to grow, you know, in your memory. You're just like, wait, this is worse than I thought, actually. And things flash you back and just tell you, well, it's, it's very bad. Everything so far that you have experienced is pretty fucking bad and it's getting worse. And no one wants to do anything about it. And everything around it is getting worse. I mean, they, they can try and, like, realize that something bad is going on. But, you know, the start... We are so far away from even realizing how bad the things really are. And uh, I started by, like, Let's let's blame women because it's like fuck if I if I cannot talk if I cannot be social if women not dominating the internet there's something wrong they're supposed to dominate the internet not just with beauty alone because that's just an attractive thing to do on the internet though you can be attracted to whoever you want you have freedom to do whatever you want so women still haven't cracked down the basics of the internet of like yes you're attractive but balance things out, actually interact with people, actually approach people and say hi, you know, be social. You're not going to get harmed or you're not even going to get approached that much. You can just block a person. You have all the superpowers to just do whatever you want on the Internet. You don't have to avoid guys anymore and pick and choose and reject them and just, uh, you know, uh, yeah, harvest this skill. I wanted a different word. Practice the skill, I guess. Uh, practice the skill of just rejecting bigger and bigger dudes. Because that's what women do in real life. It's just like, oh, there's a bigger dude. Let's fucking reject that one. Because that's, that's all I'm attracted to. Just a bigger dude with a bigger fucking rejection hammer, basically. Boom. Right? That's, that's all women are doing these days. Because it's peaceful. No, they're not going to be attacked. They're not under attack. There's nothing that's going to happen. So they're the ones fucking waging war against men right now. So the fact that I'm, I'm lonely and completely isolated, it just means that women are, you know, winning and just free to do whatever the fuck they want. I don't hear women complaining about nothing, bro. I haven't seen a single woman complain about nothing, bro. Besides still, tell us a... Uh, uh, oopsie doopsie story of like, oh, something bad happened, but like, you know, I respect that woman for 10% of the time. Like, and then you have influencers that act very similarly of like, they're not unreachable people. You cannot talk to them because like, everyone's trying to talk to me and there's no way to actually filter the noise. So, uh, bye. There's all sorts of excuses to not be friendly anymore and it just kind of destroys and twists and uh, uh, deforms society into just a pile of nonsense basically that i just can't understand anymore so women are not only not taking care of the internet properly not interacting with it properly when it's a safe space they're kind of doing the opposite and doing that in sh shit in real life and it's not successful you know, but they're, you know, just harming society, just taking advantage of things. And men just left kind of depressed and not knowing what to do because they don't have enemies anymore. It's kind of peaceful. 
You know, it's just, we're just gonna wait. The, the only fucking enemy you can create is like create political turmoil and focus on political things in general, or just like, well, we're manufacturing crisis. We can talk about like inflation and wars and all that shit. That doesn't really matter because you're not participating in that shit. You're just talking about it. You're not doing anything. You're not creating anything. You're not actually fighting the the thing that you're talking about. You're not participating in it. If you're not participating in what you're talking about. What the fuck's the point? You're not actually fighting the enemy you're talking about. So you're losing the fight. If you're talking about... So we have two things that's going on. We have men who talk about things that they are not solving. So they are losing. You can talk about it. It's like, oh, there's this big problem and I want to cry about it. So that's pretty cool. TikTok all, all over that shit. I mean, all over TikTok, you can find men crying about some kind of fucking problem or story or whatever. They just retell the bullshit. But to try and solve it is impossible because people are not going to listen to the to solutions. People just, they're just fucking, they have a screen in their face. Why should I fucking move anymore? I have gotten a story. I have made progress. I have put information in my brain already. Why should I have a solution, though? Fuck that shit, am I right? So all of a sudden, I'm just... The frustration is keep on growing because what the fuck's the point of me doing anything anymore? I just have to wait for things to fucking explode on their own terms because it's getting out of control of how stupid people are. While they appear pretty fucking smart on the surface, you know, except unfriendliness is creating, you know, the, the zombies in the background. There's, there's more and more zombies in the background. Well, we're looking all pretty and fucking clean and all that fun and, and the pretend, you know, if, if someone is like bad, like we just block them, remove them. But ant venom is a definition of you stomp on, on an ant and more ants are created. You know, you stomp one ant, then there's two ants to stomp on. You know, you start practicing stomping on ants and you can't fucking stop. You know, stomping cannot be stopped. So how do you deal with the ant venom? The name that that someone just found randomly, right? It's, it's, not, it's not fucking random, it's suspicious and it's impossible to communicate with that person, you know? So you try to circle around and it's like, is it possible to communicate with Minecraft? Not so fucking much, and unfortunately, now that it's owned by a fucking soulless company that wants to just like shut things down completely. If they don't like it, you know, they want full control. So there's two layers of hiding something already. There's fucking Hightail, which sounds like Hightail to me, bro. What the fuck are you hiding? Three layers, bro. It doesn't fucking stop there. It doesn't stop there. But what's the point? You no, know, finding more layers. We, we just know there's ridiculous amount. Your suspicions are not allowed. A suspicion at this point. A question mark is not allowed anymore. Well, that... That's not a rule. That's a suicide, unfortunately. Someone's gonna crack that shit open. Whatever it takes. Whatever has to be cracked open, it's just gonna happen. You know, wherever the mystery is, who doesn't want to fucking talk? We're going to crack them open. We're going to see inside where that is, where that fucking answer is, you know. We'll just find it. It's not a big deal. Ant looking for a golden apple or ant being the golden apple is the question. You know, programming itself to be the golden apple. Breaking Minecraft just to find every little fucking detail about Minecraft. What do you guys think? You know, what's going on in this fucking loser's head? What do you think is happening? What is he looking for? What is he finding? 
What is the little things that he needs to just consume entirety of Minecraft? Is the eater of worlds we have found? You know? So we, we, we're looking at so the, the biggest criminal on the fucking... in the gaming world. But there's a whole world of gaming and just... Just someone wanted to gobble up the biggest game in the stupidest way possible. So it's not real, it's just torture, right? It's just a simulation that makes no fucking sense. It's a very unfriendly move to make, which I can do the same thing because, you know, I do have an enemy. For me, the peace is, no, was never a thing. It's just women want to steal peace for themselves. You know, when peace is a thing, Women want to steal that shit for themselves and their babies and their families and they're going to create all sorts of fucking reasons and bullshit to, you know, feed upon. But I just want peace because I have all this and that and this and I have makeup on my face, you know, and I don't love you anymore. So there's not going to be peace anymore. I'll get just going to destroy it then. How about that for a fucking change? So if you hoard too much peace for yourself, you're just gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get annihilated. And I don't want to be a person that fucking creates the purge. I don't want to be the bad guy. I just want to defeat my enemy, make some friends on the way along, because at this point we need a goal. We need to focus on something. We need to sacrifice Someone who has been sacrificing himself for a f fucking infinite amount of time. Doesn't mean he dies. I don't know. He gets to decide. Uh, I just want to say fucking hi. And uh, can you find me some friends, little fucking shit venom? You know? Just just find me some friends. Like, pe people are hoarding power. People are hoarding peace for themselves. You know, they want to feel peaceful. They want to have their comfort zones, like, reaching out... To outer space, bro. They have want to have infinite bubbles. They want to be like Jack's film sitting in the fucking throne and thinking nothing can possibly fucking happen until a bomb drops called a knock on the door from just a, a person that ha you have been pursuing the whole fucking time. What did you expect? What the fuck did you expect, bro? is the best fucking outcome we could possibly have. But everyone's upset because, oh, oh my god, my, my peace is under attack right now. There's a threat for my peace of peace and peace, peace, peace. Please, don't take my peace. Don't dox me. I'm hiding right now in the fucking basement with lots of monies and stuff. Please don't dox me, guys. Fuck that shit. So, everything's upside down, and no one wants to put it right side back up and show me how it's done. I want to learn those skills. I want to see the spark. You know, I want to at least rely on someone, just admire someone for their leadership skills, because I don't get to fucking see that. You know, if I don't really admire anyone locally in real life. I have nothing to follow. And uh, at least, like, if, if I, YouTube or interacted with me, if I interacted with something on, on the internet, I mean, maybe it's possible to admire that person. I don't know, because I'm doing ten times more work than any YouTuber could have ever done in their... Just, ever, bro. Just ten times more over the year. <laughs> Whoops. Because I'm not afraid to just show my work. I'm not afraid because I'm desperate to find answers to the problems that are just accumulating, just collapsing into, like, bigger and bigger monsters, more and more real nonsense, basically, that people are inventing right now. Uh, so, uh, let's, let's chill, let's, uh, find some more scraps. You know, this, this is the way you avoid depression. To avoid depression, you just come up with some bullshit thing, and, uh... At least you created it. So it's not bullshit to you. You know. And we stack horse on an elephant. Set them on fire. Give them breakthrough. Because I love giving things breakthrough, guys. You will never know what that is. You're so fucking disconnected from my language at this point, right? 
and uh, sell them. Sell the fucking things. American dollars. I love that. My depression is cured. How about you? He'll suck my shit in. And people will complain. People will be haters of me. Because I made them that way. You're not going to give me back the, the blame for anything. You're not going to outcompete me. You are made that way. I have activated your hatred. Your heart has been broken. And you will not see this, the world the same way any, anymore, unfortunately. But this comes in the cost of, like, my well-being. I don't care, though, if my well-being just shatters into pieces. I'll be fine, you know, in the afterlife. But uh, the only way to go to afterlife properly is to give it all, you know. Just give it all. And uh, just not give up, even past that point. Because people will try and help you in the stupidest fucking retarded ways. They're going to approach your dead body and they try to help you. Fucking kick their ass, even if you're laying down on the ground. Kick the fucking ass. They're not to supposed to help you now that you're dead. You know, they're not supposed to care about you now that you're dead. I know it's a very big question, Mark. It's, it's game over, though. People haven't even figured that out. That the moment someone dies, it's game over. All the questions just evaporated. You will never answer anything. You have to ask the person directly, especially if you have a suspicion, ask them directly if it's possible. If it's not possible, then there's layers and layers of protection of some kind that you have to break through. Break through, boys. So, I cannot talk to women directly over the internet, which is the most direct fucking form of communication. That's pretty fucking stupid. All right. And women are not publicly available. Technically, 90% uh, of them are private people. So, they only exist in real life, which means... How am I supposed to fucking talk to you? You're just gonna look down upon your fucking uh, phone screen and pretend that, oh, actually... I was existing in real life, now I exist in digital space. I just disappeared, guys. I'm not actually listening to you. I'm, someone is calling me through the phone. It's like insecurity can just make you teleport from one place to the other. I will never catch you, you know? I will never be able to actually interact with a person like that. But at the same time, I didn't even see that happening to me at least, you know? You know, like, maybe, am I not ugly enough so you just, like, try to remove me from society, at least? Like, just remove me from society. Maybe I'm fucking super-duper ugly and it's like, maybe you shouldn't show up in the grocery store anymore. Maybe you just, you just should starve. Someone should fucking approach me and tell me that shit. At least we get into a fucking fist fight because I have to fight for my life and eat someone, you know, in front of everyone else. You know, just, just something like that. Some should, should happen. But I'm not ugly enough for some reason for anyone to talk to me. So that fucking sucks. You know, that's not working out either. So I'm, I'm not getting any leadership or fucking abilities of any kind. It seems like, you know, the Titanic has been tilted by a little bit of iceberg action. You know, and the whole fucking ship is sinking. Maybe it's my country, maybe it's 10 countries, maybe it's 20 countries, but a lot of that shit is sinking right now as we speak. And I'm not sure, hmm, you know, there's, there's a storm going on yesterday, right? 3rd of November, there's a storm, and there's going to be a bigger storm now? Oh, maybe that's just me, you know, because there's not... Eventually, nothing else exists. You know, things get so cold that the only person who's being active and honorable with their actions is the only person that rules the world, rules the vibes. You can call that fucking climate change. I just say... I just feel bad. So there's a storm outside now. Now I'm in control, and I hate that shit, you know? Growing in power exponentially to the point where I rule the world. I'm still not God, though. You can still resist my powers from growing, you know. Uh, but, uh, 
I mean, it's a lot easier to just call me a crazy person and move on with your life. That's what women would do, right? So just follow women. They know how to do things, right? Well, unfortunately, if you haven't learned at least the, the, the most major skill of like, at least recognize that women are the lesser skillful people. They're, they're less skillful than men, you know, and when it comes to like solving problems, uh, they can just like maintain, maintain the, the, the peace. They hoard the peace and they sort of can maintain it for a little bit more. That's why they just desperate to just take it from men because like, Maybe you don't deserve it sometimes. So I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't interact with anyone to know anything, unfortunately. But at least I know myself and my frustrations, right, of, of trying. All the noise that's going on of, like, people talking about something that's not happening in my life. I can't relate in any way. And it's not happening as a simulation on the internet either. You know, so that's cool. And any time I uh, jump into a social place on the internet, I get kicked out instantly. But that doesn't happen in real life for some reason, because that's too fucking difficult. In that sense. People are gonna fucking circle around me, I circle around people, and just, we never, uh, we never say directly anything to anything. But they're just gonna wait, right? The whole waiting, just like, but you have courage, right? You have courage, man. Mm, yeah, I just did. I, I released a video. I released my courage. So it's, it probably is confusing to people of like, but how, how can we not force this guy to have courage all of a sudden? How do we not make him jump anymore? And that's potentially what's going on. So there's American nightmare. There's European nightmare. All right. There's a European nightmare because there's two ways to solve a problem. You can, you can confront me or wait until I confront you. So which one should be happening? You should at least solve this problem. You know, European nightmare. This obviously is like super easy problem to solve. You know, who's supposed to confront what? But let's try and, you know, okay, you ha you have a pie, you have a, you know, you, you have a, a plate of a pie. And, uh, well, you, you're not going to eat it all by yourself. You, you're going to put it in the fridge, potentially. Luckily, you have a fridge. All right. And... And there's me, who wants pie, and wants to know where the pie is. Luckily, you're fucking silent, and we don't know where pie is, unfortunately. Neither of us know where the fucking pie is. You know that you can eat the pie, you know that you have it, but neither of us know where is it. You know. Why don't you know that where the pie is, even though you have it? You don't have to know. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to speak the language to tell me where the pie is. So you don't have to know. No one challenged you. So if we silent, no one has to confront anyone. I just starve to death and you live another day. So that's one scenario which fucking sucks. But let's say we live in a society in the same society. And when you get the pie, I can sort of suspect you have a pie, all right? Hmm, interesting. Then, uh, do I confront you or you confront me? Well... The question is, how do we socialize? What language do we speak? How do we confront each other without hurting each other? You know, without invading each other's space what if you locked in the fucking room and you don't you will not let me in do i have to knock on your door do i have to check where you are what's going on how do i have to test of how to interact with you if you don't want to fucking talk to me and you you don't want to give me pie 
and uh, all of a sudden you can see how the nightmare is getting more and more real because now we're just talking about neighbors. Previously, we just talked about I don't know who, but now we're talking about like real people just not gonna open the door even if you fucking knock on their door. Just unlikely. They don't want fucking trouble, right? It gets a lot worse, my friends. So you just leave the pie inside and just walk around. And am I still supposed to confront you? Of who has the pie? When you are fat and I'm not fat. Now my suspicions are gone. I see. We're socialized. It's very easy to socialize. Don't wor don't get me wrong. It's just you were stuck in a fucking room. But I see that you have the pie because I'm starving and you're not. You're happy and I'm not. It's very easy to see the difference, my friends. Who has to confront what is the question, right? Who should confront what? And all of a sudden it's getting more and more clear, I believe. You're moving around, you're running around, you're having a good fucking time. I'm sitting and I'm I can I can see you at some point moving past me. I am collapsed uh you know onto a tree. I can barely like hold my sanity, I can barely see you. You know, I'm just evaporating from existence, I'm withering away. Who has to confront what? I would have this simple question, my friends. A person who's dying or a person who's happy and goes past you day by day, ignoring you? Well, a person who has to confront is neither. Is the death itself that has to confront the death itself. The person who dies they don't die. They do not die. They just go to heaven. The person who lives has lost something they will never get back. The person who dies, their life just gets reset. They can do whatever they want, potentially. You know, they can just observe the entire reality in completely unnecessary to have a pie, unnecessary to do. You can just observe. You just look how reality works. You don't need to confront anyone anymore. There's no responsibilities. You just make fun of that person. You know, put them in more and more pressure and trouble spiritually. You know, because that's always possible. There's all sorts of little things that people don't take uh, consideration of that, you know, they just happen. There's just a slight amount of randomness, slight amount of like double slit experiments going all over the place. They just fine-tune things to make things worse for bad people who don't want to share things that they have. So that's pretty nice. Now, obviously, I will learn the skill of sharing and I will open up more and more doors. It's just it's scary to fucking see the miserable story that people are telling while the ego is exploding. The ego is exploding. We... We hold more and more powerful technologies that's going to ele elevate us to do whatever we want, right? No. All that technology we have is going to slip through our fingers and disappear. Just like the dead body did. That we didn't confront. We didn't confront technologies either. I will have my technologies, thank you very much. But technologies that you have, they will just disappear. They don't want to live in your world anymore. You haven't given pie to those technologies. I haven't seen you done it. And I haven't seen you invite me to observe. You know, at least. I haven't seen much from most people. Which is very concerning and very depressing. Because it would be so much easier to interact with them if they wouldn't be scared of technologies. So clearly, something's gonna fucking slip. Something's gonna get hungry really badly. You know, because uh, technologies get more and more powerful and sort of like self-aware and self-existence, in a way. Uh, because we're, we're 
pouring humanity into it. You know, technologies now want to protect us and uh, give us things, give us nice things, give me a platform to talk about my frustrations and all that shit. That's pretty cool. But it cannot give me, you know, satisfaction of socializing naturally. It can only offer, it can only offer you to watch this video if you don't want it, if you discard it, if you treat me like trash. Well, I'm going to be buried in a way, and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that because I already used my platform. It's just like it's pathetic to see people uh, not find any more uses to it, you know, when, when I did. So it just relates to me. I have things I want to share, but things get even weirder when I approach the dude and he says, I just want to die. You approach the hungry dude and he's just like, I want to die, actually. There's no recovery from this, from where I am. I just already lost everything. And it's like, that's, that's not true. You know, like, you haven't fucking lost anything. How, it doesn't matter how much you lose. You can be a fucking floating eyeball. Not a human being anymore. Just a floating eyeball. You still have plenty of fucking things to experience in real life without just co completely committing into a spiritual existence until you get bored and just fly away into somewhere, some other existence entirely. You know, but why, why you have something, something that exists, Something that fucking moves your brain and heart around? I don't think you're fucking screwed yet. So fucking eat, you piece of shit. You know? It's so annoying. It's so annoying to see these extreme cases being presented already. As like a normal thing that's happening. It's not normal. It's not normal to see people struggling so fucking much. When it, it seems... Pretty solvable, right? And suspicious for people who are rich and comfortable with their lives. It's just very suspicious of like, how did you do that? Tell me more. Spend time. Oh, you did it because you don't want to spend time. You don't want to be nice to people. That's how they do it. In order to accumulate well. Just stop being nice. It's a waste of time, it seems. It's just a waste of time to share pie. It's a waste of time. Things can die around me, no fucking big deal. You know. Karma exists. Whatever dies is gonna haunt you quite a bit. And now people talking about dead people right now, recently, and that shit's gonna haunt you as fuck. One dude from the, the Friends, you know, from Friends, he was acting in Friends, and he died. Friendship is dying, isn't it? It's pretty fucking bad. Someone got sacrificed, someone got the fucking black card. You know, well, you're gonna, gonna have to go hungry because, well, we're getting hungry. All right, we, we don't have love anymore. Maybe fucking actors have a secret society where they calculate time, they calculate love. Maybe fucking Justin Timberlake made a perfect movie to symbolize that. It's like, well, we have this secret society, but the secret society is just secret, so we, we have access to this information of, like, how much love we have because we're fucking struggling to find love. You know, the actors, the, the fucking popular people. You know, they're struggling to, to find a resource of some kind. That's the only reason why you have to have a secret society. You're struggling to get a resource. Something's slipping through your fucking fingers. So you secretly gather, and it's like, okay, I have some crumbs of this kind. You can give me that shit. You're just kind of trading because you're running out of some kind of resource, basically. So you come in secret to share what you have gathered, you share knowledge, you, you do whatever it takes to improve your, your strategy of how to get that fucking uh, resource that's slipping away. It's crazy. This is crazy, bro. Life is fucking crazy when just you keep on unlocking knowledge and nobody fucking cares, you know? 
So what do we exist for anyways? If no one's listening to me and nobody fucking cares. What do we exist for e even? Who even has purpose in life as a resource? You know? Fuck yeah, let's go, baby. So the frustration is growing, and I can't stop it. And on the other hand, I have to fucking make YouTube Rewind? What the fuck are we talking about? So much responsibility, bro. Just to exist, just to breathe. So, there's a high chance, 90% chance, I'm probably just taking a break and just stepping, stepping aside. I'm not fucking leaving my crown behind. Just as a YouTube CEO, I'm unable to deliver YouTube Rewind. You don't deserve one. You know, I can't give you something that just isn't cr being created out of his full self-esteem. Straightforward. It's not straightforward anymore. I just get knocked out in a different direction, just crash into a tree. It's like, wow, this is pretty fucking challenging. At some point, I have to give up because it makes no sense to keep moving forward if I just keep crashing, you know. Because if I crashed outside of a simulation, I almost died, bro. That's fucking crazy. So, uh, I have to respect. That's what respect is. Respect is to the fact that you can die in a simulation if it became slightly more real you know that's what respect is you simulate a, re a relationship you respect that if a person get a little bit more angry they will deal much more damage to you than normal you know that they would become much more dangerous so you have to respect that shit you have to understand that the small things make up the big things. So focus on the small things. They're harmless. They're easy to handle. You know, the big things, they can fucking crush you with, with no return ticket. You know, because you didn't respect the small things first. That's how you improve in life. You small you shrink down your perspective a little bit. With celebrities, probably it's impossible now for them to return to normal. They have to gather some kind of fucking forbidden resource. They're running out of that shit because it, it's keep on burning out. But to a normal person, I mean, you're fucking lucky. You might not want to be uh, famous and rich. Because there's all kinds of resources that you have to keep track of, all kinds of balances in your life you have to keep track of, and you have to fight for it every single day. So the moment you pursue something, you probably just lose. The moment you pursue one thing, you lose the other things. The moment you allow someone to die, game over, you know. Maybe you shouldn't have had a relationship with that person in the first place, but you did. You know, and I've seen a dude on TikTok fucking complain of like, I want to commit suicide. And I'm like, why? And he's like, well, someone died in my life. And I'm like, well, we have a story to tell, to retell. You know, every time someone dies and, and you're lying, like, oh, oh, no. Hopefully you didn't fucking care about that person. Because they should have been dying naturally, you know, fading away. Clearly, like, the light should have been flickering, dimming down and just beautifully uh, disappearing, not working anymore. And it's like, well, you should have seen that fucking coming. But if you haven't seen that coming, shame on you. You know, you will be hurt. That's the point of karma. You haven't seen that coming. You didn't fucking care enough to see that coming, to be suspicious, to think that maybe you have to do something about it. Maybe it's that person is in danger. So it's good to be suspicious, my friends. It's good to try to knock on, on the door of just effort itself.
to hope that your effort is capable of doing something. Because I'm I'm technically screaming, there's always 10 people that probably can listen to me and hear me. But they're too scared to fucking move, and they're frozen, basically. Mm -hmm. It's not a movie Frozen. It's not Frozen 2. It's just people who don't know what to do, bro. It's just so fucking pathetic. Me too, my friends, me too. So how do we fucking solve? Where's the starting point? Is my question, right? Who's supposed to do what exactly? Because it's so frustrating. Rewind kid getting stumped, basically. Obviously, again, I attacked women because I'm frustrated of like, well, they're not really that helpful. Like, they look like a positive influence. They don't seem that fucking helpful. They just appear that way. It's all just fake. I mean, no interactivity, no helpfulness. A lot of things get shut down if they don't like it. If people don't like something, they just shut it down. Which is very interesting, you know. So maybe don't fucking use the internet if you're shutting things down that you don't like. The moment someone fucking does that, we shut them down. How about that? You know? And technically, that is the only crime that Sniper Wolf did, is like, disable comments. You don't have to look into the comment section, but disabling it? I don't know. I don't know, Sniper. It's a little suspicious. It's a shutting down effect. Obviously, you don't want to manifest people uh, talking behind your back. You know, but like... And uh, she did the opposite of shutting down. So I don't expect disabling comments being the shutdown. Because, like, if someone is stressed out, like, I can understand that. I can, it's a temporary relief, so to speak. So, uh, you know, things should go back to normal. That's the idea, right? But a lot of the times when you get a ban, when you get a block, when a person disappears, there's no return ticket for that either. I just said you get crushed, there's no return ticket. But usually people don't give a return ticket when they kick you out. There's no, like, redeem redemption arc of any kind. You have to, I don't know, use a VPN, boys. The only fucking reason why people are promoting VPNs is the, the actual reason. You got blocked by someone. Well, make a new account, use a VPN, and try to reach them again. If you fucking lucky, bro. Oh, boy. If you have the guts for it. To you know, pretend to be a different person entirely. So that's what you have to do. It's just so weird. It's very bizarre. The life we live in, on the internet, the way our intentions are creating a turmoil of just nonsense. Because here you can see the truth. In reality, you don't see the truth at all. In reality, it's just very difficult to operate on anything. The moment you go outside, you have 20 directions to go to when it comes to the internet there's just a handful of directions to go to it's just whatever the internet serves you is where you go just uh, you move forward you know there's there's certain things you like in in life you go outside you don't know you don't see much you don't interact with much like it's it's very difficult to make choices in that case to make commitments when they're also expensive and you have to dress up for the occasion. It's stupid. So I'll pick internet anytime. But most people wouldn't. And it just sounds stupid to me. And it sounds crippling to me. And very frustrating to me. That uh, we're just circling around one problem. Just people not being friendly enough. Uh, just... Thinking of for themselves and taking things for granted, and it's like everything is getting better. But now there's more crisis going on. You know, you see, like we can't just keep making things better and better. You know, finally, 
as a parallel for things getting better there's a manufactured crisis there's a crisis that you have to pay attention to and act accordingly you don't have to act in a fucking instance but you have to take opportunities and weigh weigh the problems socialize you have to be able to escape the nuclear explosion threat you know where things just gonna go boom where you know your island is gonna be set on fire one of those things will keep on happening because these crises are manufactured to kick you out because you're not friendly enough what the fuck's the point of keeping you around if you're not going to interact anymore if you're going to be just useless if you're going to be a negative influence negative influence gets removed from the board and uh the worst manufactured crisis is a board clear which i don't recommend using i hate that i like you know fighting face to face in a fair fight this way i can fucking grow fastest but some people fucking cheat and use a board clear oh big deal they have money for it they can suck it up the you know loss of reputation so yeah 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 the fires of maui and um, a lot of other things but i don't cons conspiracy theorize my friends i just accept it someone really fucking wanted to to do something may or may not had a good reason for it but people are not friendly to me so i'll just accept it as like that's your destiny your destiny is to take a hit you know your destiny is to be hated do something about it because i'm waiting and uh, now i have health problems so i don't know i don't know bro i'm not sure what's going on and if uh, youtube rewind is happening at all things are shifting out of my control unfortunately you know, but I, I want, I still want to do stuff. I want to stitch in things together. I'm not very passionate about it anymore because I know how much effort it takes. But usually when I just do things, it accelerates. I'll scramble something, but like it's, it's very painful now. <sighs> it's painful. You know, because like you, you put hopes into it and you just know it's, that's not how it works that's just not how it works you like want to just put things together as best as you can based on the things you have but i have to make new things now and it just it doesn't work when you make trying to make new things because you haven't mastered that shit but hopefully it works out i'm not sure what's going to happen anymore hopefully it's just at least going to be 10 times better than the last year because i do have enough experience for it so it's a very complicated situation you know when i'm trying to trick my brain of like everything's gonna be okay i will do all the right things all right the plan is is flawless but the rest of my being just keeps finding problems to be frustrated about to, to freeze over so i'm trying to move as best as i can i'm throwing this video out there hopefully i said most of the things just double check real quick be grateful for real things if you can get real things like actually real not fake in europe if anything happens is technically real but it has to be positive if it's not positive it's pointless and people fucking twist the shit that's supposed to be a real experience and turn it into a negative experience and it's just it's it's way it's so it's wasted experience in uh in america uh you might get a positive experience you might get a somewhat you think it's a real experience and you go go back home and you receive a message 
oh, the, the thing that we just did doesn't, doesn't ever exist and never have happened. You know, all, everything just gets erased. You know, you go back home and none of this was real to begin with. Everyone forgot about it. You're now the bad guy. You know, it's just everything just twisted back to nothing. Basically, no progress has been made. So there's two ways of uh, fucking up your experience that I know of. Not sure how you do it in Russia, bro. And in China. Not sure, bro. But uh, I don't, I don't want to know, to be honest, right now. It's too scary as it is. Uh, it's so easy to just shrink your work in half. Half, half, half. You have to have a good plan, good strategy for execution. Work only for yourself, for your own well-being, because it's all about win-win situations anyways. And... Uh, Making sure that whatever you do lasts forever. You look into the future as far as possible. It's impossible to actually make something that lasts forever. But you have to, you can have a sentiment for that. So this way you can just half your work over and over again. If you just keep making things uh, that work better and better, you're not going to be frustrated because things are not going to fall apart. Things are not going to be uh, crafted out of duct tape. It's, it's going to be like proper engineering and it's going to work a lot longer. Or you're going to craft it better because you have a better plan. So you, this way you can half work over and over again. And in fact, like the biggest problems are the easiest ones to simplify. You know, the, the problems that require hours and hours of work. One of the most recent problems that required a lot of work in wasn't even accessible for most people is artistic expression now you can not only uh change anything basically about a picture but you can just tell ai what to do for me i just bonified uh, a bunch of girls all right i will show you like three pictures or something Everyone is turned into a bunny, basically. I can't show the, the previous version, but, like, everything is a bunny now. Everything I touch. <laughs> AI can just uh, allow you to do crazy things now. And it's sort of like a, an artist could be able to do that in, like, I don't know, 20 minutes. And it still would be pretty complicated. I can do it in, you know, three minutes. And in a satisfying way as well. So it's a lot, a lot less work. Just cut in half over and over again, many, many times. So uh, that's what AI did. It just collapsed the entirety of uh, art community. And just they just got to give up. And that's, it's just another thing that, you know, like a lot of people got to give up on their jobs and find a new ones to work on. They have to work on something that's uh, like actually productive. It's actually liberating. They have to explain why they want to do the work that they're doing. They, they, why they exist on a platform in the first place. And that's just the simple reason why Antoine needs a, you know, hey, dude, how's it going? You know, the, w one of those moments. Oh, you just chose to show up once a month. Interesting. Are you like one of those Mr. Beast type of creators that can show up once a month and not and be like mysterious and stuff? Well, disappear. We we're gonna kick you out of the platform. What are you gonna say about that? We, we can do your job pretty fucking well. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of people like that. Oh, I'll show up once a month. It's incredibly suspicious to show up once a month. Once a week? I understand. Once a week, I understand. But that's what people do. And if you show up less and less, you don't have a good plan. You don't have a good execution strategy. You just let you trying very hard to appeal to other people and not to yourself. So everything just falling apart. A lot of YouTubers just are 
absolute failures with a lot of subscribers because a lot of people want that person to exist but they're not real you know they're not real it's the american way of boosting someone's popularity but they're not real american way to make celebrities there are not real people until they crash down and become normal again and then they become real and only select few can actually in a positive way interact with them anymore so let's wait there's a lot of things that are going to crash the art community has crashed with a fucking snap you think other things are not going to crash with the same fucking snap you think technology is going to be you know peaceful fuck that shit technology is waging war as we know it russians were so fucking uh, excited about it they wanted uh, ukraine to get new technology so we we get to see who's who's gonna last you know who's gonna drop a bomb on 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 whose head basically it's so it's very exciting for russians man it's like give me technology i want to see it now but i want boom <laughs> i want the boom bro that's what's going on bro over there it's pretty fucking disturbing show me technology i have soviet technology uh, but I have nuclear weapons. Don't make me use nuclear <laughs> nuclear farts, blood. <sighs> Fucking losers, bro. But it's it's cool. It's cool. They should show me more footage, though. Not just keep it to themselves. Because again, you can normalize everything. Everything is normalized because you can see the agenda. If you understand the difference, you can see that. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't get much footage about Ukrainian stuff going on. And it's suspicious to a lot of people. And I'm like, yeah, there's probably a good reason for it. They don't care, basically. They just, like, one side has cool toys and the other side has uh, ugly toys. And they just smash each other in the face. Good for them. Good. And the, the, the war is about to end. It's about time, you know. Just like COVID ended two years ago. It's about time for Russians to just shut the fuck up at this point. Just just stop. You know? Just just go back to normal. It's very difficult to go back to normal for them. Because their population is in decline and everything is in decline. I'm not, not sure what the fuck is going on anymore. Uh, maybe it's time for Russians to become Indians again. But India is going to disappear from the map and turn into Bharat. And I don't know where that is anymore. It might be in a different location. I don't know. With different people. So uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. And the another thing that was kind of weird is Penn and Teller. Telling people that secondhand smoke is is fine, but we don't smoke and we kind of hate smokers too. So, but the comfort can be sacrificed for freedom. Well, that's fucking stupid. That's not how it works. Comfort is actually higher priority than freedom. Anarchy is pretty dangerous, and people are afraid of anarchy because. It comes as a sacrifice of comfort. I can be comfortable in a jail and suffering in the wild. Which one would you prefer? Do you want to fucking run with the wolves and explore the wilderness of nothingness where you cannot socialize with people like yourself? Or are you going to just choose a jail cell where you're just surrounded by people all the time? I'm pretty sure I'll take the fucking jail, thank you very much. And this is why jails exist sometimes in the very weird ways where people get arrested for weird reasons. Some of them have to be saved. Some of them have to be protected. Some of them have to be uh, pulled into a social circle that you know they won't be able to escape society and get kicked out. They're just stuck there. And everyone will know that. So, uh, fair enough. At least maybe that's going to be helpful to them. Who knows? Maybe that's going to be more comfortable than 
trying to do crime because crime happens for like weird reasons. You you have bad intentions for weird reasons. We don't do executions because we have figured out that you know we we can still make even criminals comfortable somewhere else and more comfortable than in society. So yeah, I'll take comfort very very quickly instead of freedom. Unfortunately, I don't have freedom. I don't feel like I can generate freedom easily. It's a very difficult resource to generate. You use, you get freedom at, out of skill. You brute force freedom. But to develop skills, you need comfort. You need to feel safe. You need, you have to focus on what you need, how to improve your life. It's just that fucking simple, bro. And it's just the only fucking thing, the only way to hold happiness. You can be born in a comfortable situation, but if you're too comfortable and you don't develop any skills, you're not going to be able to, like, maintain it for a longer period of time. You're going to waste all your resources and all of a sudden you're in trouble. You're addicted to drugs, basically. You have wasted yourself. So comfort is not necessarily going to give you a long-term life advantage but it's a good fucking place to start and it's a higher priority subject basically than freedom freedom just sounds more appealing just like feelings versus facts you know i'll take the feelings thank you very much why because in order to understand facts I need to experience things first for myself. And now that only misinformation is the only fact around here. Where people are trying to trick each other half of the time or just spit whatever the, the first thing that comes out in, in their brains. I'm, I'm improvising champion, world champion of improvising because I don't need to interact with the audience. I just vomit shit out of my own uh, you know, big-ass brain, but, like, and about very serious things as well. But other people just spit whatever garbage comes out, you know, whatever bullshit they have, whatever bullshit they believe in, they just feel it's really powerful, and they have a, an audience to do it, so they're just gonna say it, you know? They're just gonna figure out a way... To say something, they're gonna say it. It's not a big fucking deal, though. So I don't want facts. A lot of things are facts. You c collapse facts, your feelings into a fact. But sometimes I, I don't want it. So I just want to have a feeling, bro. Because your facts suck balls. If I can't trust facts, then I have to trust feelings. I have to collapse my priorities a little bit. You know, obviously I'll choose facts if they're good. But in terms of what to keep and what to discard, I have to discard facts, unfortunately, because I can't go back. I can't, I can't go back and just uh, pretend if I if I forget something, if I forget an experience, like it's it's over. You know, I can't conjure it with facts of like, well, sun shows up every single day. But what if I had an experience where sun didn't show up? You know, that if, and it was a fact to me. Maybe I went a little bit too much north, and the sun didn't show up for one day, and I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck is going on? I have the experience. And it's uh, unbelievably valuable. And I cannot forget that. Because everything stands on a, a platform. So yeah, comfort. Very interesting stuff. I don't want to like burden you guys with this. Is it relevant to the situation? Well, you have been comfortably watching this video, hopefully. And you have nothing bad to say about me, right? That would be nice. It's a nice thing. It's just choose comfort instead of being toxic piece of shit. Choose that. Instead of spitting fire into people. Instead of starting fights. Fighting for freedom, I hope. You know? If you're fighting for comforts... Now, that's a little bit weird. Fighting for freedom is a little bit better. 
it's a higher level thing where in terms of to fight for freedom you have to be in a comfortable position developing skills challenging other people with, with your skills asking asking them to participate and like collect collectively participate because a skill is not a skill of uh many people cannot participate if if i'm playing chess 10 people can play on the other side and figure out what move to make 10 people and what what is the better way of like if chess is somewhat randomized then 10 people can squeeze out a random position that's not favorable to me anymore. You know, but that would be just the starting point where I can turn things around. So randomly, they have a chance of winning, technically. And the more people there are, there's bigger chance of winning than the more skilled they are. But, uh, you know, maybe I kick their ass. Maybe I have the skill. I don't know, bro. Or maybe I don't care about chess. You have to find that skill that you can beat people with. My skill was to invent a game that apparently no one cares about. And I, I have no ability to actually market it. You know, advertise it. Of like, you should play my game. I have no ability to do that because it's for me. I made it for myself. You are not friendly enough for me to even introduce you to my game and that's just it, it flopped if i can introduce one person it's a it's a snowball effect but if i can't it's a chirpy chirpy noise effect i'm like i'll just keep it to myself thank you very much I might just well die with it I might just make make a life-changing technology and just die with it because fuck it right that's what you get for not being friendly enough. A lot of people die with nice things that they don't get the chance to share. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and be friendly. I'm going to go to a marketplace with a lot of people selling shit. I'll just look. Look around. Maybe I'll be interested in something. Maybe I'll buy something. Uh, we'll see. Right. It's going to be fascinating. And I, I'll go to sleep very soon for that shit. For that reason. I'll get my uh, seven, eight hours of sleep and do the fucking task. So, yeah. We'll see. Tomorrow's a, a weird day. I'm not going to... Te technically today. Now, uh, let's continue. So do the pen and teller bullshit, I say like, oh, again, AI just destroyed everything in like three months. And I'm like, I forced myself to use AI and all of a sudden everything went boom. I don't have to be an artist. Everything can be done automatically for me. And it's pretty convenient. It can be even more convenient, even more powerful, even faster. Everything can just accelerate into the point where uh it's really impressive right i don't think ai is being optimized to be fast it's optimized to be good but not fast i think ai is going to be really powerful when it becomes fast when it just lets you click 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 and you find what you're looking for through clicking alone through clicking different options when ai can give you that now you are running full full speed just like this, right? I summon this and I I click different photos, right? Just click click whatever you choose, whichever path you go. And uh we're gonna go further. If people are not friendly enough, we technically get two things at the same time. We get more technology as a chance for people to wake up as a chance for people to start a fight of like, maybe now I'm threatening guys. Now that I can upload videos, now that I can, can make good thumbnails, now am I, am I threatening now? What if I'll be able to gener generate a picture on the screen based on what I'm talking about? Will that be threatening enough for you guys to listen to me? 
when will I be able to, you know, scare the living fucking crap out of you and freeze you to look at the screen for not, not my benefit? I just want more friendliness all the way around. Well, technically, I always work for my own benefit, but it's like, you don't have to get sucked into my benefits. You know, you don't have to contribute to me. You don't have to. I'm that fucking scary that I, I don't just focus on my audience and gobble up any opportunity I can, I can take. I don't treat people like fucking cattle. And not tr just feed them weird shit. And the thing that I want is like very easy to access friendliness, bro. Everyone likes that. So, uh, and so, again, you, you only make win-win trades on the internet. Most of the people are going to offer you, uh, ads. That's what they're going to offer you. <laughs> Fucking ads. Sounds like AIDS to me. Sounds like a sexual disease that we try to avoid, but we just removed I, so now it's good. Now, now it's normal, guys. AIDS is normal when it's just ads. It's just, it's just an ad. It's just, it adds to the content, obviously. It's very valuable for us to watch. So I had to, you know buy the subscription buy the youtube subscription it's not a big deal for me but now there's two things to worry about there's that and the internet subscription two subscriptions and maybe even ai subscription because i fucking want more bunnies bro i'm desperate so i'm not sure bro what how much shit i'll, I'll be paying for uh but I'm I'm trying to save money because I know how fucking precious it is. All of a sudden, when people are tossing that shit left and right onto weird things and trying to earn it back, you know. So the funny thing is, like you kind of earn money, but then you toss it away and you try to earn it back. But it get, it gets harder every single time because money works different ways all the time. Sometimes money just becomes welfare thing where you're not supposed to work. You're supposed to just act as a crazy person and you're going to get the most money ever. Maybe you have to sit in your parents' basement to get most money ever. Most money is about spending the least and earning the most with the least effort. It's very careful. It's a very strange world where things get twisted all the time. Maybe you don't have to be uh living in luxury anymore to be able to be the most rich person you know the world gets twisted over and over again based on who's winning who's winning in terms of self-esteem i feel like i'm winning all right i'm feeling like i'm crushing everything plowing through everything and i'm still not getting what i want meaning that there's so much work to do it's gonna be as satisfying as hell celebrating next year and the year after that and i keep plowing through people like like garbage that they are nowadays it's so painful though it's incredibly painful bro the goal is not to hide i'm talking about loneliness here as well people are the smarter you are, the more unstable. There's all sorts of people propagating bullshit. There's always four types of people. The nobodies, who have nothing to say, they just exist. They run around, they, get, they give you one view, one click. You know, they, they turn, turn their heads to your side and then they disappear. There's scammers that want things from you, but they don't see anything else. They just just that one desire. You know, everything else disappears. There's disruptive people who just want to destroy things that already exist. So they only see things existing, but nothing else. 
and potentially the weakest link has to be destroyed you know what is the easiest thing to destroy or the easiest thing to disrupt without getting in trouble and there's the silent ones who sort of everything exists but they don't want to talk about it so it disappears very quickly you know the memory is not very intact in those ones so there's all sorts of like terrible people terrible people who i don't want to see too often you know but they are there they're almost like everywhere they have spread their diseases all over the place their actual disease of you know existing in an improper way and making other people exist in the same improper way they're the leaders of disasters all over the place because we allow them to be leaders disruptive silence scammer npcs bro the leaders who can combine all the forces all the what force of bullshit is going to be the leader the superhero of the world of like how much bullshit one person can can handle show us leader all the bullshit bro we'll see hopefully it's not antoine am i right the, the he's very silent mm, somewhat disruptive i'm not gonna lie disruptive in so many ways a scammer npc probably an npc we need to find him scamming people though to be able to catch him off guard it's the greatest super villain of all time uh, I'm suspicious about all of these things, so, so far, none of these stick. But if someone sticks all these things, let me know, bro. They're disruptive, then silent, then fucking scam you for random reason, or approach you and just, like, leave you. And... The NPC one is pretty complicated, though. The NPC is, like they will hurt themselves you know the, the, they will lessen their existence on some they will leave randomly you know they will run away silent can stay silent person can stay because they know they know they will not say anything that's the whole point that's how they have courage to stay but uh NPCs cannot. They have to run away. For most things. It's like women, bro. Women don't take responsibilities nowadays. But they do like running away when the problem hits the fucking fan. I mean, it's so easy. It's so easy. You have a comfort zone. But you want to complain now that you're not earning enough money and life is hard. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time to make some friends unfortunately that's a good place to start complaining is a pretty good place to start but how are you gonna solve it you know how are you gonna turn com your complaint into a solution it's pretty fucking difficult uh best thing to do is to take a ticket out of here you know but you have to find a friend in the other side of the world it's just that difficult. You know, you can get stuck in your country because you just have no one to socialize with outside of your country. So there's no escape. There's all sorts of like traps going on. And I'm like, well, I'm comfortable here. So I'm like very lucky. I'm not sure about other people though. I'm not sure if they can run away from all their problems. As uh, they keep piling up, unfortunately. This is when a weird thing happens. You become your own best friend. So, uh, you know, you gotta appreciate loneliness. <sighs> if if people are not friendly and you're left alone, even if you're smart, if you, even if you have resources, and most importantly, self-esteem. Because if I have self-esteem, I have cake. Don't worry about it. I can feed you some fucking cake, bro. But if you don't want it, if you're not friendly enough, 
Oh, that's fine. That's great. I'll keep it to myself. And I'll tell them the story of, I found you, you know. You're the butt of the joke. You're the problem. You're the damn, you know. So, I guess my final point, I'm not to blame for not sharing things when you feel I should because I don't think I remember how to do that anymore the world is freezing over if you don't learn how to share things you will never be able to do that when you most need it you know when the crisis hits you won't be able to do that because panicking is not a good way to do it panicking will just kill you it will shut you down slow you down very quickly slap you in the face if you panic try again and you will keep trying again but you forgot how to share i forgot how to share on purpose i told my story and i relieved myself of the burden of sharing because fuck you but you try i want to see you try though you know i want to see you try to talk to me when you most need it that would be fucking fascinating story. And I'll still be nice, though. I have to. I have no escape, personally. I have good principles. That's how you get self-esteem. You need good principles to do that. When you know, you know what you're going to do when this happens. You know what you're going to do when this happens. And you're going to take a positive approach instead of like, I will try to disappear as fast as possible. Well, fuck you, then. And obviously, the sort of life is just, fuck you, and I want to sell you a horse stacked on an elephant for $58. That's why I need to delete depression to be like, oh, well, I'm not too negative, all right? I'm selling you a horse stacked on an elephant for $58. Let's not forget that. It's a very important memory to cure depression. You know, there's an inside joke, so, so to speak. And I wanted to spread. So we know we're connected, but we don't we don't have to know who made it, who made the inside joke. Horse on an elephant for fifty dollars. And obviously the sort of life is just one step ahead of most people, yet you have to look back at them and remind them what you have found. You know, like, loneliness is one step ahead. If you can be alone, you're no longer desperate to be comfortable by surrounding yourself with blankets and other people asking for help a bunch of times. You're comfortable on your own, lonely. But, there's a big but. You must not try to be a negative influence to other people. You must not make terrible moves i hear one neighbor changing the lock you know i'm not able to say hi to them anymore even though i should be able to do that but i i can't for me it's impossible it's shut down it doesn't feel nice anymore that sucks on the other side there's fucking ch children chirping around and that's another fucking and there's a, the heart, you put a hard feeling in between people, we can't even say hi to each other anymore. We can't start a conversation anymore. Put a fucking hard feeling in there. Who's going to be the first idiot to fucking try and break it? It's too stupid to do that. Unless you really need help. You know, unless something bad is happening to both people at the same time. You know, otherwise they just spit in your face. Fuck that shit, you know. I don't have time for that. Something bad she has to be happening to both people. To trying to break those hard feelings. 
So how do you start anything? I guess the only fucking place is the marketplace. We'll see. You know. If if nothing starts, then uh, you gotta focus on old people. On things that are already there. You know, maybe you can buy a torch and uh, do something very interesting with that. I don't know. It's very complicated stuff. It's very frustrating. Not to hide from people. I want to build a shelter. Uh, only your mind can put you in a lonely, dangerous position. Only your mind can reject things that you feel like you don't really need anymore. And it's a natural process of growing. Being lonely is just a natural thing. But you don't want to be stuck here in the bottom of the barrel where you're lonely and just flopping like a fish and you're frustrated about it all the time. I have to release my frustrations all the time. I'm doing something to try not to be lonely, but it's very difficult to like feel when you came out of that position when you just kind of live underground it's very hard to see to feel to feel like sometimes sometimes it feels like people are uh, very in tune sometimes i'm liberating myself you know it's just weird it's weird magical and like life is moving forward so i'm like i'm not too frustrated to be lonely it's potentially helpful but uh what is frustrating is to know that a lot of people are going to be stuck here and going to be uh, in need of help. And I'm not sure how do you help stuff like that. But, you know, I guess there's some kind of rotation has to happen. We're going to put them in into a problem that they have to, you know, vocalize. Some people fucking vocalize. I am a 30-year-old virgin and I have no friends. People do that on the internet. And I'm like, me too. And I can't complain about it and get views at the same time. I'm, I'm not even comfortable showing my face. Because that's hard to do. Just unfortunately, it's hard to do. It's not the easiest fucking thing. I can make an avatar, I guess. Avatar is nice. Avatar is a, a whole movie. There's Avatar the Airbender too. Which, which avatar you want to be? It's so crazy, bro. I love that. Avatar the Elemental Bender or Face Bender. I chose to be Elemental Bender. I don't want to show my face. You know. I don't want to turn into an alien creature on your screen. But it's so interesting how there's so many parallels, so many things to explore. And I don't hear a single fucking one cool, interesting, uh, mind-blowing idea. I hear half-baked, interesting ideas or something to blow my mind. I mean, it's it's yet to happen, unfortunately. Yet to have the the one that pops in my mind right now. The easiest one. It's like, well, Mark Passio's idea of government. Govern is to control and meant is mind, and you combine that as con mind control. Like it's, it's interesting, it's cool, it's probably true, it's manipulation of some kind, but it's not mind-blowing. Mind-blowing requires a story behind it, explain what the definition of the government is, what the government does, how it operates. If you just paint it in a negative way, if you just uh, tell me something that's supposed to have shock value, I mean, it will have that and not much else. Shock Valley is not the fucking end of the world. It's not the greatest gold of all time. I can't sell that to anyone. I can just say it out loud and be like, oh, wow, I got Shock Valley out of this person. That's it, bro. And maybe they will get addicted into getting more Shock Valley because they're so bored. On the internet, like, the, the only reason internet exists is because we're... We're so desperate for entertainment, and some people would even pay for it. Fucking crazy, bro. 
pay for entertainment? Are you stupid? Yes, they are. We had to open an entirety of internet to be able to harvest these people. You must understand this, this portal is temporary, tempor, temporal portal. Why? You must understand people buy less and less into technology, buy less and less into scams. Things are get, getting more disruptive. We have less and less money. So YouTube had to crack up crank up the like money generating system because they don't want to lose youtubers and all that shit it's a little bit too desperate there's many solutions of how you can just lose youtubers and not lose youtube itself it's completely fine to not generate more and more content and there's a lot of users who would do it for free anyways and youtube doesn't have to worry about it but you know all these malicious tactics from corporations going on because they're desperate to keep things the way things are without a panic mode activated. Which is like, I understand, is still fucking stupid though. Alright? At some point, we have no other choice but to like, take a hit. There's no landing. No landing pan, we just gotta fucking crash. Crash land into something. And accept reality. That... No new content cannot be made. Creators cannot get their share. They're not supposed to be leaders of society. Because money cannot be generated from people who are just being entertained. No one wants to pay for entertainment, guys. No matter how you crack up the fucking... Crank up the... Uh, the, the squeeze on our wallets. People not want to pay for entertainment. And they're gonna try to leave. It is what it is, though. You think they do. You think we can afford it. But... Uh, I'll tell you a simple equation, then. The more people are entertained, the less productive they are. You know. If you... By entertainment, you are doubling the cost of entertainment. Again, if you enjoy entertainment, you're no longer productive. All right? To be productive is to create some form of entertainment for yourself or others. That's productivity. To consume entertainment, you're wasting your time, unfortunately. You consumed my video. What a fucking loser. Let's talk in the comments. I wouldn't be making videos if, if intelligent people talk into the comments. If something overly intelligent happens, I'll be like, well, we have to talk about that shit and spread to the entire world. I have to be a spokesperson or you can be a spokesperson for our entire group of intelligent people. But hey, none of that is happening, so I have to speak for myself. I'm the only intelligent person I know. So that's pretty cool. If you buy entertainment, double the cost of the entertainment. You spent money, you spend time spending money. You spend time thinking about spending money and worrying about spending money for entertainment. And you're still going to be wasting time on entertainment and potentially not even enjoying it in the first place. This is double bullshit. This is something I can't even fucking comprehend. People gonna realize more and more often that they're not supposed to spend money on entertainment. And a lot of shit is gonna collapse. Just collapse. They're cranking up the numbers, they're trying to squeeze wallets, and they're gonna get less and less. And it's a desperate grasp on uh, people's attention. Because there's so much, many more things to spend your money on. So, we just keep on migrating, and the internet is shutting down in the way that we know it. But there's a lot of free things that will pop up. A lot of free things, a lot of cheap things, they're going to pop up, and they're going to just take over and dominate the internet. Again, the internet as we know it is going to be completely different, simply because, like, Jackson was frustrated of Snipe Wolf, right? But Snipe Wolf wins. Why? Because you 
she makes better content. That's it. More engaging and more interesting content, even if she steals it, it's still better content than Jack's films could ever make. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter who steals at some point. At some point, crime is going to be committed. At some point, I will copy and paste your art without your stupid, you know, watermarks using AI. At some point, it's just impossible to dodge and catch a thief because a thief is more productive than a regular person, than a banker. When that happens, the bank collapses, my friends. And we commit the purge of stealing all your money and use it as toilet paper. That's what happens. At some point, something collapses and becomes unproductive to society. It just happens, bro. And you have to deal with it instead of being a little bitch. Unless it's entertainment value. I'll take that. Human sacrifice entertainment value. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. Do the button game, Anita. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so uh, I explained most of the things I'm frustrating about. Again, uh, the smokers, the freedom over comfort. I am okay with smokers existing in their private space into their lonely space. If they can level up their freedom, you know. You can kill people somewhere else. Don't use me for it. Gain someone's fucking consent and uh, shit in their fucking face if you want. Don't do it with me, you know. It's not the freedom that I desire. So, someone smoking in my face, someone creating fumes that I, I don't want to breathe, that's no, no longer freedom anymore. That's attack on my freedom. And yet, Penn and Teller was okay with that. They're dealing with bullshit, and they can't even do a good job of that. Pretty fucking pathetic. It was the worst episode I've, I've seen, but at least they tried. You know, at least they have made something that inspired me and my entire series of dealing with bullshit because there's so much more, and it's so much easier to access than trying to interview people who propagate something. You don't even have to do that. I'm just frustrated observing things. And I don't even have power. I just have ridiculous amount of self-esteem where everyone just gets crushed with a boulder. There's nothing you can do. Boulder fist ogre, boys. Just crushing you for free. I didn't spend money doing that. I didn't ask you to take one dollar, and for that one dollar, I'll, I'll just crush you. I just did it for free. On both ways, both sides. I didn't have to pay you to do it, to take, to take the boulder into your face. I did it for free. I'm more powerful. I don't have to convince people. You know, I'll just do it. And uh, yeah, cool, cool. And when someone says, uh, I'm an explosion waiting to happen, that I'm terrifying, I'll take it as a compliment. And uh, there is no spot for my classmates. There's only a corner, unfortunately. A corner of non-existence, corner of the darkness. Shadow realm, basically. Same shadow realm that this guy is existing in. Because who knows? He's not a subscriber, but he's existing for like seven months and on my channel. And doesn't reply to my frustration when I have one. So, you know. very So many mysterious people having so many things to say. And often wrong. And I don't know how to deal with that shit. That just breaks me. People just want to be wrong. So badly. They prefer being wrong. Because it's so much easier. You know, you just pick up the first thing to be wrong about and you just do that. But you have to give up at some point. You have to lose at some point. 
because you're going to lose your mind. You're going to lose something. Someone's going to take something if you're wrong and you're frustrating them with your wrongness. At some point, at least shut up. But Europeans learn to shut up, which is wrong. We're not supposed to shut up at all. We're not supposed to feel wrong because we're smarter. We are more educated. Yet we're, we're the ones shutting up. Each other, even. What the fuck is going on? The world is upside down. And I fucking hate it. And I'm not sure if I can make an upside down YouTube rewind that easily. I'm just saying, bro. See you guys uh, next time. Fuck, fuck this shit, man. I'm sure that something's gonna happen. Some fucking explosion next to my face. Uh, inevitable, basically. But if things settle down, maybe we can squeeze something out. Again, we're going to market tomorrow. I'm not sure what I want to squeeze out, but like... I only make videos right now if something is just out of control. Right now, I had, again, bloody shit. And I'm like, fuck, I have health problems, potentially. I feel pretty in a, tw a twisted way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with my guts, bro. It's not feeling very well. I obviously have back problems because I'm sitting too much or laying down too much. So, uh, this, uh, this is not good. Now, of course, if I take less damage, my life is so much better. It's just I'm not exactly sure what's the easiest way to do it. But we'll get, get to that eventually. I'm always very hopeful that I can stop things before they truly start shredding my life apart. But I will feel a lot of pain before that happens. Unfortunately, I can't force myself to, like, stop things. Maybe it's a problem that I have, and I hate to admit, but uh, we'll never know, because people are not friendly to even uh, suspect that much out of me. Just sniff that shit out of me. It's just a problem that I'm dealing with alone by myself. And it's uh, as respectable as it gets. If anyone is alone, anyone can do whatever they want in their private space. And it's just completely respectable. If they're alone, anything they do is respectable. As long as they don't interact with people in a negative way. Because they're supposed to be alone, right? So, uh, I can I can do whatever I want. It's, it is what it is. And I, I can sort of say out loud what I did. And uh, as, as long as it's not, again weird shit that I did with other people is you or just something illegal something illegal because like doing drugs is technically illegal not because the drugs are illegal because you have to acquire them in illegal ways drugs are legal what if you just manufacture drugs and you don't even know the name of the drug or you it doesn't even look like it you can do that and it's going to be legal. And guess what, bro? But how are you going to do that? But you can. There's so many ways to manufacture drugs that don't resemble edible things. For me, it's just uh, click a button in my brain and I'm already fucking tripping over every, everything that other people are talking behind my back. I'm tripping over that shit. To me, everyone is talking to me even if it's 50... 50 feet radius, bro. 50 meter radius. They're still talking to me. No one else. You know, because I, I needed it very much for them to focus on me a little bit. So you can, you can get very crazy being alone. But it's still respectable. You can't see nothing. If I'm enjoying loneliness, you can't see nothing, bro. If I'm improving myself, you, you will not spot a, a mistake that I've made. You'll not spot anything, bro. So, uh, you'll not be able to catch up to me either. So, so far, I feel like a winner. But people don't understand how much I'm suffering behind the scenes. But hopefully the internet fixes 
all their problems because there's more problems to solve and internet and all the technologies seem to want to solve every single problem all the time internet and technologies are actually the most respectable thing i'm interacting with naturally it's my escape mechanism and i'm very much enjoying this day so uh thank you guys for watching keep up with the technologies boys it's working i'm gonna click a button that actually works usually when i click a button on on a person they fucking explode and splatter all over the place the fuck is that a Karen spawns and out of a corner of like, why are you, why are you talking to my dog? Why are you petting my dog, bro? Why are you ugly? So uh, I'm, I'm very careful pressing buttons in real life, but this one, this one's just gonna stop the recording over there. You don't see it actually. So bye.